in this video you're going to see the difference between all of these soaps. This is a coconut oil based glycerin soap with salt. This is the coconut oil based glycerin soap. I use that as an example. You'll see how all of these give you a specific different type of lather. This is 100% coconut oil cold process. This is the coconut oil um, glycerin with activated bamboo charcoal. And this is the 100% coconut oil infused with tons of stuff like salt, bentonite clay, licorice, chaga mushroom, aloe, noni, and a bunch of other things. So we'll see how those ingredients affect the lather. And you'll see my favorite bar that I personally hand make and sell. This is a pumpkin spice oatmeal organic olive oil bar. And this is a recipe that you get for this particular soap, which this one has no preservatives, but if you make it and expect it to last, you need preservatives. And this is a canola based soap, which gives great big bubbles. Here's the biggest bubbles yet. Now, let's go for the oatmeal. Oatmeal bar doesn't take long to suds up. It's sudsing up really nicely. It's got good bubbles. It does not have a lotion-like feel. It is a just a real clean, kind of quick cleansing soap. Rinses clean, rinses clean quickly. The salt, um, this is actually not salt. This is 100% cold process coconut oil, as an example. You can see that this takes a lot longer to suds up and it yields a lot of bubbles, but these are not exactly the same size as the other bubbles from the canola based so these are a little smaller and because this has 25 percent extra coconut oil in it it does have a moisturizing feel somewhat to a very light very thin water-based cream or lotion let's see which one have i not tried the activated bamboo coconut glycerin soap. This soap has activated bamboo, which is very absorbent. And you'll see it creates a colored lather, which washes off easily, carrying away with it any kind of grease and grime. Great for mechanics, because this is going to take away all of that stuff. All right, and the activated bamboo charcoal with everything else in there. Basically, I called it the everything bar at first. But this is definitely bubbly. It lathers well, and it has the thicker texture of cream. 